a squat is a squat is a squat. So what I mean by that is whenever I see another person's uh, strength training program or go to another gym, oftentimes I see they do the same exact exercise the same exact way over and over again to the point where they either hit a plateau in their strength or they accumulate enough damage over time to have some overuse injuries. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you about two different principles that you should take in consideration when developing your own strength train or following another program in general. So let's get to it. So the first principle I'm gonna talk about is the law of accommodation. So simply what that is, is as I do something over and over again over time, there's going to be a breaking point in which I no longer elicit any benefit from that given exercise and I'll actually decrease in strength along the way. So the reason for that is your body is amazingly good at adapting to things over time. So much to the point where it's going to only recruit the things you specifically need or even try to find ways to recruit even less muscle tissue to expend less energy to do the movement you're trying to do. So when we talk about a baseball swing or a golf swing or throwing a baseball or football, that's actually a benefit to us because we can do things for a longer period of time. But when it comes to strength sports or trying to develop strength over time, that's not a benefit because what you're trying to do is trying to make your muscle tissue stronger and more capable at a top end. But when you're trying to do that on a very specific lift, you eventually lose that strength over time. So that's why I'm a big proponent of switching out different bars, bands, chains. I'll do a safety bar squat, cambered bar squat, front squat, narrow stance squat, box squat, you name it, I'm going to do it under the sun. And I'm typically trying to change it every single week. Now, on that other end though, there's another law called law of specificity. So if I do want to get better at something, let's say a powerlifting meet where I do have to back squat with a straight bar, eventually I'm going to have to uh, squat with a straight bar. So if I were to squat with a safety bar where I don't have to have my hands uh, up onto a bar, I just have the handles in front of me and do that over and over again and try to go to a straight bar squat, it's not going to feel right because I'm not used to having my hands up there. Now what I can do though is I'll straight uh, squat with a straight bar for a week, do another type of squat for another couple weeks and go back to the straight bar. So that way I still have instances where I'm keeping it specific to the training I'm trying to do, but I'm changing it up enough so I don't get the wear and tear and I'm giving my body plenty of different stimuluses along the way. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. If you have any more questions about this topic in particular, please reach out to me at agogiperformance.com and I'll help you with your strength conditioning needs.